This camper van is the Clever Vans Tour Alrad on a Citroen basis. It costs 75,000 euros, which is a bit more than what Clever Vans normally charge. The reason for this is down there. It's an off-road vehicle. There you go, there's the starting price, 42,000. But that is, uh, you've got all of these extra things added on, onto it and the uh, the off-road kit's about twelve and a half thousand, something like that. Now, I'm gonna be somewhat careful as to the way I show you this video. The reason for this is because my footwear has got rather dirty. This is an off-road tray fair, and what with it being off-road is that it, it means that it's off-road, that, that uh, you've got to walk through mud and things, so I hope I'm not gonna dirty the place up too much. Right. 540 centimeter long vehicle. Now, one thing that Clever Vans did for the 2022 season was produce the, what has been called the cheapest uh, camper van on the market, which is about 30,000 or thereabouts. But I mean, it's, uh, you're not gonna get it under 30,000 as they claim, but all the same. So um, it doesn't quite fit though with the image of something like this, which is at the uh, other end of the of the market which is something which uh, is obviously much more expensive and designed for totally different uh, conditions right but anyway uh, now bear in mind how small this vehicle is and look at the size of that toilet now the toilet does move uh, uh, um, it has it, it, it has to, but uh, otherwise there's, there's not enough space in there for it. But we do have a fixed sink, and there you go. There's how much space there is in in here. Quite a lot, and it's got a sensible sliding door as well. Coming to the rear, obviously you've got a, this width-wise bed. Uh, it's got this indirect lighting above it and up there we've got a, a, a skylight as well and let's uh, have a look inside the storage and so there's quite a lot of storage now obviously with this type of van as you would expect this to come up and it does and that gives you an idea what's under it and all of this will come up as well if you want so uh so I'll try and do this this way if I can. No, I can't. Uh, you can see here what's going on. See this this whole thing here. This will come up if uh, necessary, and you can then store it to one side, and then you get all that space down there to put bikes in or whatever you're bringing with you. But anyway, let's have a look down there. See how much space there is there, and we'll just have. Oh, here's an, another interesting new feature. It's this kitchen extension, which comes out here, rather than at the end, which is down here. I think that's a good place to put it. Uh, minor thing, of course. Also got proper drawers, note. Yeah, absolutely proper drawers. So, Heimer were watching this. Uh, they they could try doing the same. Well, I like the shape of this drawer as well. Right, uh, here there's not a huge amount of space, but then again, there isn't much space in the vehicle anyway. And uh, the uh, for the interior look, well, I mean, I appreciate that Gustibus non disputatum est, no discussion on taste. Uh, and you've got a bit of storage there. I normally don't like these things. I'd rather that empty, but then again, a vehicle of this size, I suppose you need all the storage you get, as you always do every, everywhere you go. Uh, here, also, you can use that down there. Oops, can I see that? Possibly not. No, you can. Uh, here, fridge that opens both ways. Supposed to open both ways. I'm not going to force it. <laughs> uh, let's have a look in the back because it is the back where uh, we can also see what we can 
actually carry with us. Not often with many of these vans, the back is, the, is I think, the cleverest bit of all. Now, uh, this here goes down the front there. Blocks, blocks, block, blocks that up, should you want to, but uh, you might just want a free way, clear way right the way through. Um, here you can also see how th this comes up. Uh, obviously, I'll have to take the, the cushions, off, the, 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 the mattresses off first, but that rests down there and that goes over there, as I said earlier. And in there, we've got the gas cupboard, which is also a convenient place to keep bags. Ah, the colour really appeals to me, you know. I wouldn't buy a vehicle for the colour, but uh, I really like that. <laughs> I really like that colour. Uh, wouldn't look good for a suit, but it looks good on the outside of a of a camper van. Let's have a look what else we've got here. We've got the per Persil Trenta here, uh, now 640. Uh, uh, so 636 centimetres in length, 60,000 euros nearly. And what's the most expensive the thing? is the special uh, Felgen, um, what do you call that in English, these things, uh, <laughs> uh, 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 wheels, um, and um, right, so, uh, okay, let's have a look inside, so 636 centimeters in length, uh, you've got more space, much more space. You've got an extra meter to play with in, than in that first vehicle. So you've got this, you've got a great deal of space here, and you've got lengthwise beds at the back with steps leading up to them. Two burners, nice big sink, really. Um, because it's it's not, uh, I don't really think it's the sinks, it's the depth. I think it's the space you've got in them. And that, that really is extremely extremely positive in my opinion sensible sliding door on the shower big shower with two um, drainage holes we've got to find something wrong so the the size of the drainage holes should be bigger so uh, it's got a fixed sink toilet and we've got these lengthwise beds at the back and you've got storage under there and this bit here also lifts up as it does in things like Heimer and Kartiko and motorhomes. There you go, and you got stored down there as well. Um, no, but the, the, the difference here in price is explained by largely by the, the off-road capacity. And whilst I'm here, I'll show you this Citroen Campster. Uh, and uh, if you've seen any of my videos before, you'll know what I think of this one. So I won't say it again. <laughs> there you go, 58,000. 58,000, you could have one of them. Far better idea, in my opinion. Because this is effectively, it's a car. And uh, it, I mean, there may be places you can park this, you can't park the other one. It's got a, it's got a fridge over there, it's got a, a, um, a sink, it's got um, two burners, it's got a bit of storage, but Hey, get one of them over there. That uh, Trenta is much nicer, in my opinion. So, but obviously it depends what you're looking for. Okay, this thing here, uh, as you can see, the 4x4 by Dongel, French company, uh, which is, I don't wanna say it's the leading, things I don't know much about 4x4, so I, it, is a, it is a leading uh, supplier of 4x4 equipment. I bet some now goes and writes us a load of rubbish below or something like that, I don't know. I don't, I'm not gonna say one way or the other. And anyway, so first shown at Caravan Salon Dusseldorf, 2021, August 2021. It's now here in Bad Kissingen. So you have clever vans, off-road, uh, wonderful colour and uh, thanks for watching. Hello. Hello. <laughs> yeah, I'll finish by taking it over here. This looks a bit better. Yeah, I'm trying to get a good final shot. There, there's a good final shot.